Hey guys, it's Chris. I'm back. Um, today I am back to doing my cold sniff videos. Um, God, I gotta start melting, guys. I really do. But I have a brand new... I'm like, what's my good side? <laughs> I don't have a good side. Whatever. Um, brand new vendor today that I have never tried before. Um... It's, she is called, her shop's called Money Pennies Soy Sations. Um, I'll post all her information below. Uh, it's run by a wonderful, wonderful girl named Angie Hype. And she's so super sweet. And she sent me this book. <laughs> this book of all her scent descriptions. This is pretty crazy. Um, and emails. So anyway, I ordered, what did I order? Okay, this can't be right because there's more in here than 10. But anyway, it says here that I ordered 10, oh, 10 three soy blend scallop melts. So I guess she was doing a um, like three scallop melts at $2 each. Um, and I ended up, so I ended up with, I believe, 30 melts. <sighs> so this may be a long video. But anyway, um, I paid a total with tax and shipping and everything of $27.95. So obviously, guys, you know that's under my dollar an ounce um, limit that I like to use. And I have all the windows and doors open and all the lights on today. And for some reason, I just got out of the shower, guys, so excuse my hair. But um, for some reason, I'm not... Just look like I'm getting a lot of light in this video, but I don't know. Whatever. So I'm just going to get right into it, guys, because I've never tried this vendor before. Um, I think I found her in one of the wax groups. Is she in the Candles Anonymous group? I don't know. But I'm going to post the Candles Anonymous group below, too, just so everybody knows. So these are one-ounce scent shots. And I'm just going to start straight off. Uh, soy blend scallop melts. And this is in cool citrus basil. And what's really cool is she also puts another label on the bottom with the cure date. Now, cure date, I'm assuming means that that's when it's cured by. So that's when you can melt it by. Um, I'm hoping it's not a poor date, but I will let you know below. I'll contact Angie and find out. Um, she also has on her site, just to let you know, she has soy candles, she has bath and body, she has burners, she has home scenting, which I'm assuming is like probably like um, fragrance sprays or whatever. She has a tab that said scent blending magic. Now, again, I haven't gotten into that yet. I really should. I really should get into it, but I just haven't yet. Um, she has gift certificates, soy facts and tips. She sells wholesale. Um, she also has retail locations. Hmm. She has in-store parties, which I'm going to look into because parties are always fun and always cool and always a good way to get stuff. Um, so, anyway, I hope this is... Oops, I hit something by accident. Okay. Um... So I'm just going to get straight off. Cool citrus basil. Um, let me see if it's on here. There's no scent description on here. Um, this is why she gave me the handy dandy list. I just didn't really want to pull out the handy dandy list just because, I don't know, like I'm looking through everything and it looks kind of... Um, Oh my God, there's so many scents, guys. Cool citrus basil. 
no, there's no scent description on here for it. Let me look, because it looks like she gave me two, which may be an updated um, version. Nope. Um, well, maybe. We go from B to C. We're going backwards. No. Okay, so I don't know why I got two of these. I don't know why I got two of those. But anyway, um, I'll just use her website because I think she just printed out what the scents were from the website. Uh, there were a few scents that I wanted to order that wasn't available in Soy Shots. I was kind of upset. Um, I think it was only um, available in like soaps and stuff like that. And I haven't gotten into soaps yet. I mean, I don't know if I want like tons and tons of soaps into my in my bathroom. But anyway, so Cool Citrus Basil. This is really nice. This is a very refreshing scent. I, I get both the citrus and the basil in here. Oh, this smells so good. This is a yes for me. Definitely. Um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I gave her a list or if I just said pick some. No, I think I gave her, yeah, like 20-something cents and then like five of them or something weren't available in the soy shots. Or the scallops. So I had to pick other ones. And I think I just told her to pick. But I love this cool citrus basil. It's like, um, I smell orange. Definitely smell the basil. I love anything green, like, that smells kind of green. Wood. When I say green, I mean, like, leafy. That's what I mean when I say green. So when you guys hear me say green a lot in my videos, that's what I mean, like, leafy. I really like that. But not leafy like autumn leaves, leafy like, um, you know, uh, leaves on a tree with that, have, you know, not in the autumn, but like summer leaves, like green leaves. Um, I love that scent. But anyway, this is really good. This is definitely a yes, the cool citrus basil. And I'll be burning one tonight too because, like I said, I haven't burned a lot. Um, here's one. These all have different dates on them. So I'm thinking the cure, I would get the hang of doing this right in the middle. This is, come on, webcam, black cherry. And there's the cure date on there. So I'm assuming that means, she doesn't, she, doesn't have, she doesn't say pour date. So I'm assuming that this means this is when you can burn it by. This is in black cherry. Um, I'm not a huge black cherry fan, but my daughter really, really is. And I know she's getting a new warmer soon. And... So I'll be able to give her my, whew, whew, this is definitely black cherry. Oh my God, it's so nice though. I like, I prefer black cherry to cherry. Um, cherry is more to me like the maras maraschino cherries, which is very syrupy. And it just reminds me of when I used to work at the bar and I don't know, but this is just a really nice black cherry scent. Very strong. This is a very strong one. Um, but like I said, my daughter loves these, so I will. Now, I'm not 100% sure. Angie's going to have to tell me. So when I post this, hopefully she will post it below. If these bags are cello zip or, you know, the polypropylene as, a part, as opposed to the polyethylene bags, um, she's going to have to tell me because they seem, well, I don't know, they're crinkly. They're probably the right bags, but I just want to make sure because I will then, of course, re, um, God, repackage everything, which I really don't want to. So I'm going to make sure. Um, here is grapes and huckleberries. Now this, I don't know what a huckleberry smells like. And again, there's a cure date. Um, but I just like huckleberry, like. Huckleberry Hound. Like, I just, I don't know. I like the name. It's funny. I don't really know what a huckleberry is. I have no idea. I don't know what it smells like, but, um, okay. Um, I definitely get the grape, but there is another scent in here. I'm just not quite sure what it is. I mean, obviously it's the huckleberry, but I don't know what a huckleberry is supposed to smell like. I should Google it. I should Google it for you guys. Um, no, what was this? Oh, okay. A sweet blend of tart ripe grapes and sour huckleberries. 
but I still don't know what Huckleberry is supposed to smell like or what it even looks like. I don't know. I'll just probably post it. I'll post it in the about section um, for you guys. So I don't take up too much time Googling Huckleberry, but I, and I'm loving just saying that scent. And I have seen these, the poly propylene bags, which is what you guys want to have. You want to have the polypropylene bags, not the polyethylene bags. Polyethylene is like your Ziploc bag. It's going to um, suck the fragrance right out of your wax. And obviously you pay good money for it. You don't want that to happen. So you want the polypropylenes. Um, they come in many, many different kinds. These are really cute. I think these are a little more on the expensive side. The Ziploc with the little hang tags too. Um, they don't all, these all don't have hang tags, but they sell them with the little hang tags. They sell them without the hang tags. Um, but the Ziploc's really cute. Um, I may purchase next time. I have so many bags. So, but next time I may purchase these in polypropylene with the Ziploc just because they're so much easier to open and close than the reseal. The resealable ones are nice, but, oh, this is, but this is much easier. Brown sugar pound cake. Oh my god, that's so good. This is just a, such a great bakery scent. So for all you bakery lovers, I love anything brown sugar. This is a really, really good set. And I'm not getting like a ton of pound cake, which is good for me because, I'm sorry, I thought I heard someone coming. But, I don't know. Um, pound cake to me, I don't know. I'm not huge, 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 huge on pound cakes, but this is a really good brown sugar scent, so I really like this one. If you're into bakeries, brown sugar pound cake is for you. Um, here we have this one I'm really excited to try and smell. Come on. Coffee ice cream. Now, because anything coffee, I love. I'm going to have to do my magical hand again to get it to focus on me. <laughs> my webcam is going to be ridiculous today. Let me see if I move it a little bit, if that will help. There. I don't know. Maybe that'll help. Um, anything coffee, I love, 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 love. Absolutely adore. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, smells just like coffee ice cream. Now I don't, I used to love, coffee ice cream used to be my favorite, but I can't do caffeine anymore, so I don't do a lot of chocolate, I don't do a lot of coffee, I, I do coffee, I just do decaf, so you can't get, they don't have decaf Ben and Jerry's, <laughs> unfortunately, but um, my daughter loves coffee ice cream, and this is spot on, coffee ice cream, oh my god, one of my favorites, coffee ice cream from... Money Penny soy soy stations. Oh my god, so good! Like I said, and this was an amazing deal. Thirty tarts, guys, for like less than thirty bucks. Amazing. Um, this one. Oh, I keep going to the wrong thing. Cake batter ice cream. Um, you know, I've been getting a lot of bakery scents, and I don't know. Ooh. This is interesting. Let me see if there's a scent description on this one. Ooh, coffee ice cream scent description. I'm going back one. Uh, the warm and delicious aroma of sweet buttery ice cream blended with soft, smooth Brazilian coffee, brown sugar, and cocoa powder. <gasps> so it had cocoa powder in it too. I should have got more of those. I think I may have to order again. But this is, what is this? Cake batter ice cream. She does have everything in alphabetical order. Enjoy the rich and decadent aroma of sweet creamy cake batter combi combined with the most delicious vanilla ice cream. I definitely smell vanilla ice cream. And, and I smell cake batter. But, but like vanilla, like a vanilla cake or a, a golden cake. Oh, really nice. This is nice. Um, mm, some of these scents I think I'm going to have to go back and order more. Because this deal was just amazing. Again, here is another. I'm on the scent description list, so I can't even see myself. Here is another. Get it right, Chris. 
Caramel cinnamon, cinnamon latte. Again, a coffee scent. Anything. Wave my magical hands. Come on. Beep. Thank you. Focus on me. Um, anything ice cream. I mean, anything coffee. Caramel cinnamon latte. Was this caramel cinnamon latte? Yeah. Now, cinnamon usually throws me off. I'm, your, I'm, more, most, I'm usually like, nope. Who has cinnamon in the name? But with blends, I tend to go for it because I figure this is a fabulous coffee blend of creamy vanilla, spicy cinnamon, warm sweet caramel, and fresh brewed coffee. So let's see if this passes my cinnamon test. This is good. Okay. This is, I can smell the cinnamon, but. This is a this is a different very different coffee scent because I can smell spell I can spell sometimes I can spell I can smell the cinnamon but it's not overpowering so that's great I can smell the caramel a little bit of caramel coffee vanilla I'm not so sure about if I can smell that right now but um oh but this is nice this is not like I prefer the coffee ice cream because it's more kind of coffee in your face, but this is a really interesting blend. I like this caramel cinnamon latte. I can't wait to see how this one burns. Um, Fruit Loops, which I'm sure I'm going to look at the, yeah, just a version of the wonderful cereal. Um, this is Fruit Loops. And I've gotten a few other vendors. I've gotten their Fruit Loop. It's very nice. I like it. And this is spot on. This kind of reminds me of. Well, tricks and Fruit Loops are like very similar smells. So I know some have trick. Some people have tricks, and some people have Fruit Loops. And even Fruity Pebbles. They're, they're all very similar, but it smells great. It smells just like the cereal. So that is awesome. Um, we have the good old apple mango tango. Now, I normally don't do apple scents either. The more that I, the more that I do this, I shouldn't say, I was going to say the more that I do this, the more that I cut scents out of my list. But that's not true because I think I, cut more in but apple mango tango and I didn't really realize it when ordering is this is the gain fabric softener that high this is what this is the sun description the gain fabric softener that highlights the su sweet smell of apples pears and white roses with mangoes herbs and floral musks so anything with herbs floral musks I'm, I'm gonna go for now this is very nice I've had this is not too laundry, guys, because I've had the Apple Mango Tango from other vendors, and it's just way too laundry for me. Like, I don't know. It's it's too strong, too, just too laundry. Does that make any sense, guys? Too laundry? Um, It's just overpoweringly laundry. Like, you know, you're like you're in a laundry mat, and like that's all you can smell kind of thing. But this one is... is uh, let's see. The cure date on here is May 15th. Um, like I said, I'm hoping these are cure dates, meaning you can burn them by this time, not pour dates. Um, but this is nice. I can smell the apple a little bit, but it's not too appley. I'm not smelling musks. Um, I'm not smelling, or, or it says floral musks. I'm not really smelling herbs. It's a nice scent. I'm just not really getting the, the scent description that she has there. Um, but I, I let all these, I let everything cure anyway. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm not like in the middle. There you go. Now I'm in the middle. I'm like, I'm not in the middle of my webcam. That was driving me crazy. Okay. This is basil, sage, mint, which again is going to be another fragrance. Come on, magical fingers. It's really aggravating. Why is this not? Hello? There you go. Oh, aggravating. Sometimes my webcam works so good, and other times it just gets funky. I don't know what the deal is. But basil, sage, 
love. Mint, not so much. But again, with um, blends, I'll give them a shot because a lot of times it takes the mint down. Like I'm never going to do a straight up peppermint. That's just not my thing. But this is a refreshing blast of herbal mint fusion sure to invigorate the senses. And this, again, this is a very, very, very good blend. Awesome blend. I'm really not catching too much mint, um, which when I burn it, I may catch a little more. But I catch the basil and definitely the sage. And I love sage. I smudge all the time. Smudging is, you know, when you burn sage and you cleanse your house and, and you know, your areas and stuff like that um, of all the negative energies which I always think is great to do because there's so many negative energies out there. Oh, we need some positives. This is an awesome scent. Love it. Definitely on one of my favorites lists from Money Penny's Soy Stations. Because like I said, I've tried other ones where the mint is just way too much. Love that one. I'm going to have to go back through and watch this video again because I, I like to, what I normally do is, which you may have seen in some of my other videos, I'll put like right here, I'll put right here, like a Y or an N or even a question mark if I'm unsure. And that it's like, that, that helps me for my giveaways because if it's a no for me, that doesn't mean it's a no for everybody. It's just not my thing. But a lot of people will rave about it. So I'll throw it in my giveaway box. Again, I'm not in the center. What's going on here? I'll put it in my giveaway box um, so other people can enjoy it because, you know, I hate for it to go to waste. You know what I mean? But, um... So I'll have to come back and be like, oh, yeah, I liked that one. Oh, that one was okay. Or that one was a definite no. So I don't, so far I don't have any definite no's. Um, this is orange chiffon cake, which has become, I believe, one of my favorite, like, bakery scents. Um... Oh, God, I have to go. Okay. A warm and decadent vanilla pound cake infused with a tang orange twist okay i'm not getting orange guys and i'm disappointed i'm getting vanilla pound cake absolutely but like i told you before pound cake is not my favorite as far as bakery um i'm not getting an orange twist anything that has orange in it i really or lime or lemon i really expect a tang i mean i that's i'm really looking for a punch there so I want to smell the lemon stuff but I want I mean the pound cake but I want that kind of be to be like the second scent I want the orange kind of to be the you know you get that orange punch and I'm not getting that with this one so this one is probably going to be a maybe because um, this one is definitely cured it says cure date February 9th but then even if she just put even if she poured it February 9th it still would be um, what you call it. So this is this, I'm going to put this to, to the other side because this isn't a maybe for me. Like if you love pound cake, that's a great scent for you, but I'm just not a huge, huge pound cake person. Um, this one is Zen Garden, which is like, I just hear Zen Garden. And I'm just like, I have Buddhas and stuff all over my, uh, Eventually, when my daughter moves out and my grandson moves out, I'm going to redecorate my living room because I want everything to be zen and tropical and palm trees and Buddhas and waterfalls and just really, really nice. But um, this is a garden, a garden of the fresh green fusion of bamboo, which I love, bergamot, jasmine, and lily to bring, oh, with bright and aromatic green tea leaves, a truly peaceful scent. So... Anything peaceful and zen and earthy is right up my alley. And this is no exception. This is amazing. Um, this is so good. Um, what am I catching here? It's not like I saw the jasmine and the lily and I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know. I love bamboos, guys. Bamboos, I love if this is just a really great green fusion, like she said. It's fresh. It's green. It's awesome. It's awesome. I love it. These just put me in the mood to just 
relax. Like, oh, to just relax and just chill out. And, oh, my God. Love it. Love that one. That's a definite yes for me. Um, coconut. Coconut lime verbena. Um, let me see. Coconut lime verbena for me. I've tried many coconut lime verbenas. I know people love it. Absolutely love it. Um, oh, I just looked at the cherry. She said super strong. And it is. Um, let's see. Coconut lime verbena. My eyes are going. Okay. There's no um, send description for this one. But it's good. It's good. I've been on this lemon lime kick. But, you know, um, I definitely get the lime. Do I get coconut? I get the lime in the verbena, which I think is like more like there's kind of like an earthy scent, like a, one, one of my greens, like I'm, I was talking about. This is really nice, though. I like it. Right away when I opened the bag, I got the lime, though. This is really good. Coconut lime verbena. Coconut's a hard scent. Coconut is really hard, guys, to um, capture. You know, I, I don't have a whole lot of luck. So when I do, I definitely put it in my database and, you know, with a, cer with a certain vendor, if I get a coconut that's, I'm like, wow, this is an awesome coconut. I definitely put it in my um, database as a yes. This one is chai tea. Now, I used to love, until I, oh, uh, there's no scent description. But anyway, anyone who's had chai tea knows what it smells like. Um, I used to love chai tea from Dunkin' Donuts until I saw how many calories are in it and I, I, that's when I used to do caffeine so okay not loving this one guys I'm not I'm surprised two cinnamon there's cinnamon in here and I don't like it oh I'm disappointed I was really looking forward to this one this one has too much cinnamon in it um Chai tea, I expect to be kind of tea, but like with a shot and a little bit of vanilla, which is like a shot of cinnamon. But this is too cinnamon for me. So this is a no. This is, I'm going in my, um, what you call it, pile. My giveaway pile. Um, this one is called Beyond the Sea. And I'm just see it looking here. Oh, it's not my hair. Oh, look, this is so cool. Somebody else. <laughs> this, this happens to me all the time. There's a label and there's a hair in it. And when I get around sticky stuff, my hair is always caught in tape and labels and all this other stuff. So people always get my DNA. Um, they could clone me if they wanted to. But anyway, Beyond the Sea. Let me see if she has this one up here. Yes. Okay. Walk along the seashore and breathe in the salty air, driftwood, sea moss, and sand, along with hints of jasmine, lily, and rose. Now, I'm hoping this is more driftwood and sea moss as opposed to jasmine, lily, and rose. Oh, and this is good. You know, I'm almost... The weird thing about it is it's not in the scent description whatsoever, but I'm smelling a mint, which I'm not loving, but it could be the jasmine, like mixing with stuff or whatever, and that makes it smelling, it's making it smell a little minty, but it's really, it's almost like I pull it away from my nose and I can almost just smell the beach, the salty air, like it's really weird, like, you know, I don't know how anybody gets that note, but it's amazing. And I can smell the mossiness. I like it. It's really, really, it's a very interesting scent, guys. Anything interesting, I love. I, I really, beyond the sea, I really like it. If you're looking for an interesting scent that, you know, you've never really gotten before, beyond the sea, I've never smelled anything like this yet. So, um, and I do a lot of sniffing, you guys know. Okay, this is Sea Island Grapefruit. And again, I'm going to say that, I don't know, I don't know if I saw this one on the center description, but I'm going to say that grapefruit is another one where I really, okay, the tangy brightness of fresh grapefruit softened by a sweet twist. No, it doesn't say what. Um, I, grapefruit is such a refreshing, tangy, I don't eat it, 
I can't stand this, the taste of it. Um, I won't drink grapefruit juice. But this is good. Um, this is more like um. I think this is grapefruit with maybe some berries. Like I said, it doesn't say it in the scent description, but I can smell the grapefruit. It's I wish it had a teeny bit more tang, but this is a really good mix. I'm not sure. I think it's like a, like a like a, a I was gonna say cranberry, a grapefruit and a and I'm like and a berry of some sort, but it's really nice. So. I don't get the tang that I normally like with the grapefruit, but obviously it's a blend, so, and I like it. I like the blend. So this is Sea Island Grapefruit, guys. So if you don't just want a straight grapefruit, that's a good one. This one is Blue Hawaii. Um... And I may be talking really fast, guys, and just because there's so many scents here, and my boyfriend's going to be over in like a half hour. So, Blue Hawaii is sweet tropical aroma of juicy orange, lemon, maraschino cherries, which I hope it's not overwhelming, pineapple, sweet coconut, and vanilla rum, just like the drink. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm so upset. The first thing I get, maraschino cherry, like, bang. It, you know, it, maraschino cherries really, cherries at all are hard. I am grasping some pineapple, though. I wish it, I ha, I wish it was more of the rum. I, I can't catch orange or lemon. This one I make, like I said, I'm not a big cherry person. I may keep it for my daughter. I may put it in the giveaway pile. I may burn it because some of these, scents may come out when I burn it. But this maraschino cherry um, on this blue Hawaiian is just, it's too overwhelming. I would tone it down on the maraschino cherry. I don't know. I mean, like I said, she just may have something labeled blue Hawaiian and that's the scent description, but if it's a blend, uh, no, it's not. I thought it was going to say, I thought my daughter was home. I heard loud music. Blue Hawaii, Hawaiian is a maybe for me. I don't know. I'm going to put a little. Question mark. Not so sure. Um, on that one. This one is Cherry Chip Cake. And again, like I said, I had 30 to choose from. So a lot of these scents I normally would not try. Um, cherry chip cake is drift back to those old childhood memories of that classic cake bursting with bits of cherries and a delicious vanilla cake surrounded by cherry buttercream frosting. Now, I don't think I'm going to like this one at all just because I'm not a big buttercream person. Vanilla cake, not so much. And cherries, not so much. So, okay, I'm wrong. See? I'm glad I just don't go by scent description. I'm wrong. I like this. I thought the cherry was going to be overwhelming. It's not. And the vanilla, and, and I don't catch a ton of buttercream, which is good, because I don't, for some reason, buttercream ruins it, ruins them for me. I don't know why. I think it's too sickeningly sweet or something. I don't know what it is about buttercream, but this is really nice. This is really nice. I like it. Um, I like it. It's, like I said, there's no cinnamon in it. It's not one of those bakeries, but it's really, really nice. Um, not too cherry because of the mix, and I was afraid that it was gonna. These, those are good old, oldie but goodie, the Bahama Mama, um, which I don't think she even has a scent description for. Nope, no scent description, because I think this is just, like, a bunch of different tropical fruity kind of things. Um, oh, it's nice. Um, I get pineapple. And I'm so happy to be getting, like, all these, like, tropical fra fragrances, because I'm the total opposite of everybody. I don't burn. This is really nice. Like I said, it's a Bahama Mom is a drink, so I'd like to. I would almost like to catch like the vodkas or the rums in he in these scents, which you don't normally.
catch, but this is very nice. Not too strong, not too like overpowering fruity, overpowering fruity, but it's it's really nice. Um, nice pineapple. I'm the opposite of everybody else. I burn all my tropical, my tropicals, my summer scents. Well, I burn them in the summer too, but I burn them in the winter. Uh, mostly. I just, to me, it just brings me back to, uh, helps me forget all the snow that we get here in Connecticut. Frozen margarita. Um, let me see. Let me see. D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Won't you sing with me? Like my grandson would say. Frozen margarita. Scent of lime, mandarin, orange, sea salt, and vanilla rum. Again, the rum. I want to smell it. This is good, though. I don't smell the rum at all. I get mostly lime. But it does smell like a margarita. I guess I just like my margaritas really super strong. When I used to drink. I don't drink anymore, but when I used to. I wish... I do catch a little whiff of vanilla. But I wish um, there was a little more rum smelling. But... It's really good. It smells like a margarita. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, here's our good old friend. Oops, our good old friend. Pink sugar. Now, I don't know if she's going to have a... I really wanted to try green Irish tweed type. Now, that's in a soap, so you know what? I may buy it just because I really, really wanted to. And it wasn't in a sunshot. They didn't have it. Or a... What you call it? Um, pink sugar is your and there was what was the other one? I don't know. Um, L M N O. Sorry, guys. Oh, she's a pink sands type. I love pink sands from Yankee Candle. Um, pink sugar type is vanilla and caramel, notes of bergamot, Sicilian, Sicilian orange, raspberry fig leaves, lily of the valley, licorice, strawberry, red fruit, cotton candy, tonka, which she has as vanilla. I thought tonka was chocolate, but caramel, musk, sandalwood, and powder. Now, I hope it's not too powdery. No, it's not. This is amazing because this pink sugar smells like every other pink sugar. Not every other pink sugar, but it's your basic pink sugar type, but it's not too overpowering. Some of these pink sugars are just too overpowering. Especially when you mix them with other things, like they'll have pink zucchini bread or pink whatever, and it's just, it's too much. But this is really, really nice. This would be nice to mix with something, I think. Because there's so many, like I said, raspberry, fig leaves, lily of the valley, licorice. I'm not getting licorice at all. Strawberry, red fruit, cotton candy, I definitely get. Bergamot, <clears throat> orange, I'm not catching, caramel, it, it's just, it's funny because I've never gotten a scent description for pink sugar, like what is actually in pink sugar, now I know, and I'm really happy because I like to know um, that pink sugar has everything in it, <laughs> so now I know that is a scent description for pink sugar, everything in it, anything you can think of, just throw it together, you got pink sugar. Okay, this is Blackberry Crisp. Um, and blackberries, I don't know. I've been ordering more of them because I really want to give them a shot because they're like no other berry. But this is warm and juicy blackberries blended with the perfect amount of spices and vanilla crisp topping. It's really good. Blackberry, like I said, I can't decide if I like it or not. Because blackberry is a very unique berry scent. It really is. It's not like, a, you know, no raspberry, no strawberry, no, you know, those are very sweet and whatever. Blackberry is not as sweet smelling, but it's really good. Um, I'm not catching spices in this at all or crisp vanilla crisp topping. I'm just catching blackberry right now. But, um... It's a nice, I like it. Nice blackberry scent. I love blackberry and sage. That's a really good mix too. I don't, I don't think I have one of those, but, um, okay. This one 
It's called Let It Rain. Now, I had been kind of, I was an all, like, if it was, not herbal, um, what I want to say, uh, spa, if it was spa, I was all over it. Then I kind of got away from them because they were so, they were too, um, too light for me. And I just, I really need strong scents because my sniffer just sometimes is really just defective. But now I have, as of yesterday, I have a warmer in my bathroom. So one of those plugins. So that's really cool. So I can use these nice clean scents in there. So this is Let It Rain. It's described as bright and clean floral citrus infused with sweet musk and precious woods, just like walking through the meadow after crisp after a gentle spring rain. This is nice. This is just a definite spa scent. Um, I don't I don't get the citrus, but this smells very again very green to me, very spa like, <sighs> clean and fresh. It's a really nice scent. It's definitely you know a softer scent um, that I would use I'll use in my bathroom, but I love it. It's great. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, and I'm so happy now that I have that warmer because um, in the bathroom, so I don't waste scents that I can't really smell in my big room. Um, this is Bear Claws. Um, like I said, I just had so many to order that I just went through. I'm getting a little tired of bakery, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this one says, this amazing scent of freshly baked golden sweet yeast dough surrounded surrounding plump dates, raisins, and crunchy nuts. I'm getting away from, not getting away from, getting kind of sick of bakery scents. Just because a lot of them just smell the same. It's like, okay, you got cinnamon, you got graham cracker, you got, you know. And this is kind of the same thing. Um, awesome bakery scent. If you love bakery, go for it. It just smells like every other bakery to me. I'm getting the cinnamon for sure. So, I don't know. This is this is a this is probably a go into my um what you call it pile in my um giveaway pile. Um I know some people are huge 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 on bakery. Now this is Pink Sands type. So this is Yankee Candle dupe. Um Pink Sands, I don't have the scent description for it, and I don't believe she does either. So, the Pink Sands to me is just, oh my god, it's just so nice and beachy, you guys. Like, I can't even really describe it. It's just so nice, refreshing. It, it's a lighter scent. Um, nice, refreshing, beachy, a little bit of floral, but not overpowering. Love, I just love this scent, Pink Sands type. Love it. And she did a great job. This is like spot on to the Yankee. But because it's all soy and everything, I'm sure this is going to melt much better. Love Pink Sands type. And Sun sun and Sand, I think it's called. Love that one too. Um, so when people do dupes of that, I definitely get that too. Here's, okay, this is... Mocha Doodle Latte. Now, first of all, the name is just funny. Mocha Doodle, right? It's, it sounds like a, one of those designer breed dogs these days. M mocha Doodle. What do you own? Oh, I own a Mocha Doodle. <laughs> but Mocha, 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 Mocha Doodle Latte. Um, I'm going to see what her scent description is because I'm expecting chocolate and coffee. That's what I'm expecting. <laughs> and that's what I hope I get. Um, that's the problem with me is that a lot of times, like, I see a scent, not necessarily a description, but, oh, I hope I got that one. There's one called Moonlit Meadow. I hope I got it. Uh, but I probably didn't. Um, oh, it's not on here. Okay, it's not on here at all. Never mind. Um, it's just definitely not on here. Mocha Doodle lot. Mocha Doodle's not on here, guys. Let me just check one more time. 
for everybody. JJK. Yeah, she has a scent here called Holly Jolly Christmas. That's one I will you'll never catch me getting. I, I don't do Christmas scents. Don't do not big on autumn scents. Um I know people love them. I know people love to burn them during the seasons, the holidays. Nope, if you come over to my house at Christmas, it's gonna smell like the beach. There is no mocha doodle latte on here. Okay. So I'm not going crazy. There's just no mocha doodle latte. Mocha mocha doodle latte. Oh my god, that's hard to say. Mocha doodle latte. So I'm expecting this to be chocolate and coffee. Let's see what we got, guys. It's exactly what we got. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's exactly what we have. A mocha coffee. Oh my god. Okay. Fave. Absolute fave. 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 Putting a big Y on this one. Sorry, guys. You're not getting my mocha doodle latte. You're not getting it. It's not happening. Love it. I'm going to have to order more of that one, too. Um, This one's blueberry muffins. Obviously, we know what blueberry muffins smell like. But I'm going to sniff it anyway, just to make sure. Yeah, this, this is good. At first, I was going to say no. All I'm getting is blueberry. But no, it's it does smell like blueberry muffins. <sighs> like a nice Dunkin' Donut. I don't eat them anymore, but <sighs> it's really good. Straight up, blueberry muffin. Spot on. Um, cherry crumb pie. No, the other one was cherry chip pie. Because I'm like, didn't I do this one already? Cherry crumb pie. Um, let's see if she has that one up here. Yes. A perfect blend of sweet black cherries, which is good. Sour cherries. Freshly baked into a buttery golden brown flake crust. Yeah. I'm getting maraschino again, guys. Um, yeah. This. Because it's cherry, I'll probably keep it. I like the cherry chip cake much better. I'm not getting any of the bakery. I'm just getting real cherry. But almost an artificial cherry smell like the maraschino. I, I, not loving this one at all. Not loving it. Not up my alley. So I'm going to put an N for this one. Like I said, people who love cherry, I'm sure will love this scent. But it's just not quite for me. But I'm going to keep it in this pile over here just in case my daughter wants it. Um, cucumber melon, you can't, you can't go wrong. I used to not do lemon, I mean, lemon melon scents because I'm allergic to melon, but I love the smell. So I've been doing it and this is just awesome. Cucumber melon. Love the smell of cucumbers, love the smell of melons. It's very refreshing, very, um, clean smelling, great for a bathroom. Um, love it. Cucumber melon. Um... I did get one. Yay! I'm so excited. Just because I loved the scent description. I'll be upset if it's not like that. But Moonlit Meadow. Now, the scent description for Moonlit Meadow, you guys, is... Let me see if it comes up. Okay. Enjoy the warm and soothing romantic fusion of red black... Of rich black currants, orange, lemon, herbal patchouli, with a hint of French vanilla. Just like a romantic stroll through this fragrant meadow in the moonlight. Now, there's no flowers in there. So, hopefully it's not flowery. Oh, this is good. I definitely catch the patchouli, but... And a lot of people don't like patchouli. I love patchouli. Straight up patchouli, not so much. Patchouli mixed with things, I just find it really... It does really, really good mixed with other things. Orange and lemon... Catch a little bit of the orange, I think. This is this is just a this is a definite yes. It's really hard to describe. I read you the scent description. Um, if you're expecting a lot of orange and lemon, I'm not even sure what currants smell like, to be honest with you. But um, if you're expecting a lot of orange and lemon, you're not gonna get that with this one. But love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, here's another, I'm sure, spa scent. Aqua, aquamarine spa and aquamarine is my birthstone for anybody who does not know that's my birthstone so i would be interested to know and get some guesses 
in the comment section. I'd like someone to try and guess my birthday. Obviously, you don't have to get the year. <laughs> um, but, you know, what month and day I was born. Because aquamarine is my birthstone. So, give it, some, give it a try, guys. Get some guesses down below. Just fun. It's fun. And you know what? If you guess my birthday, maybe I'll send you something. You never know. I might. Yeah, this is nice. This is, um, again, a very clean marine aromas that evoke feelings of a relaxing day at the spa. So it's definitely a spa scent. Um, just clean and refreshing. Kind of like just out of the bath. Very nice. Love it. Love it. Let me see how many more do I have. Oh, good. I only have a few more. Um, this one is Citrus Sunburst. Um, I don't think this one was on here. I didn't see it. Oh, it is. Um... Grapefruit, tangerine, kumquat, and strawberry surrounded by sweet apple blossom. Oh, and this is good. This is, I smell a lot of tangerine, which is really cool. Because tangerine is a cool scent. It's different than orange. You know, it's different than your lemon and limes. It's a really great scent. Not too much strawberry, which is cool. Um... Because strawberry tends to overpower. You can definitely get the tang of the grapefruit in here. I don't know what, kum what a kumquat smells like. That's just a funny word. Kumquat. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know what it smells like, but this is a really great scent. <sighs> nice. Citrus sunburst. Love it. Um, like I said, if you're expecting a lemon lime, huge orange, you're not going to get it with this one. Um, if you want a different kind of citrusy, like refreshing, fruity kind of scent, citrus sunrise is definitely it. Um, Hazelnut Cafe, of course. I know I'm going to love this just because it is a coffee scent. And, of course, I do. She's really good with her coffee scents. i got to tell you guys, I'm really liking it. I'm loving... Um, I don't think she has... Oh, yeah, she does. Rich, dark Italian espresso infused with sweet hazelnuts. Infused with sweet hazelnuts. I'm having trouble, trouble talking today. I'm tripping over my tongue. This is just a really great straight up. I'm not getting a lot of sweet, but the espresso, oh my god, great, amazing coffee scent. There's not many coffee scents I don't love. Unless, of course, they don't smell like they're supposed to. Then I don't love them. Last one, guys, is Honey, I Scrubbed the Kids. Now, there is no scent description for this. So... I have no idea what it's supposed to smell like. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. I don't like that. Honey, I scrubbed the kids. I like it. I really do like it. But I have no idea what this is supposed to smell like. So if anybody knows what Honey, I scrubbed the kids smells like, please post it below. Please. Because you know my OCD drives me nuts. I have no idea what this is supposed to smell like because there's no scent description, but I really like it. And that is that. Just in time, the boyfriend is here with more goodies for me. Oh boy. <laughs> with more smellies. He threatened, actually, he threatened to steal my package because he's like, oh, this smells so good. I'm going to steal it. I'm like, yeah. You'd lose an arm. You could just leave it over there, babe. Um, but that is it. Like I said, 30 cents for less than 30 bucks guys really really good sale um angie height awesome woman um i'm sure she'll answer any questions i have but again guess my birth date below like i said don't do the year nobody needs to really know how old i am although i think i've told everybody already but um oh i missed one here here's one more Sweet buttercream crunch. Now, again, why I ordered this, I don't know. Maybe this was a sample. I don't know. A freebie. Yeah. 
because I don't like it. I don't love it. It's not so sweet to me. Buttercream, don't like it. I don't know what the scent description is, but it's buttercream, definitely. So this is this will go in my giveaway pile, unless my boyfriend or my daughter wants to claim it because don't love it. But anyway, Angie Height, awesome woman. Um, post my birth date below because my birthstone is aquamarine. That's the only hint I'm giving you. Post below if you get the right answer. I will um, do a little giveaway. I'll, whoever gets the right answers. And you guys, if you all guess it correctly, I know you checked my Facebook. So can you just like put a guess in there? You know, because don't be that hard up for some free wax because it's pathetic. I love you, but it's pathetic. <laughs> so if everybody guesses it correctly, I already know there, there will be no giveaway because I already know that everybody checked my Facebook. But so that's what we'll do. And I'll pick a winner randomly. So anyway, that is my cold throw video for the day. Again, I'll post all the information below, but it's Money Pennies Soy Sensations. And Angie Height is the owner. So I will post all her information like I normally do. Subscribe, like, and I will talk to you all later.